Hello and welcome back to the workshop. My name is Danny Hopkins and I'm editor of Practical Classics and we are here in the Practical Classics workshop once again. Now this is where we come and work on all our projects, produce content for the magazine, have a cup of tea, do all the creative works where the magic happens. Uh, but I'm on my own here at the moment. Of course, we're still distancing slightly to make sure that we uh, stay within the government guidelines is one of the reasons why the show isn't happening today. But the online version is, and I think so far it's going pretty well. I've really enjoyed watching the different elements, all the things that come together to make the Practical Classics Classic Car and Restoration Show with Discovery the show that we love, the friendly show, the opening show for the season. So what have we got in store for this afternoon? Well, I can tell you. In about 10 minutes time, we're going to be back in here with me and Tompkins, and I'm going to show you how to make the perfect cup of workshop tea. After that, we're going to have the winner of the Restorer of the Year competition. I'm going to be handing out the Golden Spanners to a worthy winner, exclusively revealed today. No one else knows who it's going to be, so watch that. Afterwards, we're going to be showing you as well who's going to win the Golden Sprocket, a new award for this year for the best modified Restorer of the Year. Going on into the afternoon, we're going to have a welding masterclass, how to set up your MIG welder, how to do MIG welding. The basics, really, really useful, brilliantly delivered there by Mikey Komen. We're going to have the Classic Car Auctions online auction guide. So we're going to look at how online auctions work. It's something that's a bit of a new phenomenon for many of the auction houses, and Classic Car Auctions are a bit of a master at it. You can see all the ins and outs and some tips on how to get engaged with online auctions. Through the afternoon, we're going to carry on. We're looking at our projects. We're going to be doing some more work on restorations. We're also going to be engaging with the clubs and the specialists that usually inhabit the NEC at this time of year, making sure that they get their shout. And of course, looking forward to meeting them again in the flesh next year. Towards the end of the afternoon, we're going to meet the Federation of Historic British Vehicle Clubs. We're going to talk to them about the future of classic cars in the UK. Really, really important chat that. And then after that, we've got the National Car Club Awards. Again, we would so much rather be in a room with all the clubs, having a great time, acknowledging excellence, talking to the people who've really made a difference this year in the flesh. Unfortunately, we can't do that. So I sat in my office and contacted the clubs online and we gave them the gongs that way. It's not optimum, but it's so important to acknowledge the people that have helped us get through this appalling, difficult and divisive time. Clubs have helped us stick together and we wanted to give out some awards just to acknowledge that fact. At the end of the day though, most importantly, the live element of the day comes together and we will be revealing the winner of the Lancaster Insurance Pride of Ownership competition. So get yourself onto the website, get yourself voting for one of the 20 cars that we've shown you. Which car do you like best? Who knows? We're going to reveal the one that's most popular at the end of the day. That's the live element of today. I'm really looking forward to coming back in here and opening the golden envelope. Before then though, enjoy the content, sit back, enjoy, grab a cup of tea, in fact grab a, two cups of tea and put one with the bag in first and one with the milk in first and see which one tastes better. Come back in 10 minutes to see how to make the perfect cup of workshop tea.